out. Where are you? Gotcha. I'll cover you. Happy birthday, William. Here's to you, all American. William, blow out your candles. Congratulations, Blast the Witch. All right, old Codger. Oh, oh. Nice sauce. <laughs> Let's make this good happy birthday, birthday Terry. It's your favorite. Let's make Banana this your count, Blast. William, blow out your candles. Congratulations, right, Blast the Witch. Here's to you, all American. Alles good. <sighs> <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it this long. <laughs> well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie Max right there. Max made! Max <laughs> off! <laughs> oh. <laughs> here's some wicked love. <laughs> oh, the Lord, I was gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> So, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silverfish. It's deafening. It is a very small. <laughs> Seeger! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi! Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris, but please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? I <laughs> know, <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit, now it's on. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blaskowitz. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. <laughs> 
starts with the corn and on occasion we've done barley but I think well I like rye but he usually does corn and then with is still drunk and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey, come on. No. Come on up. <laughs> I tell you, when a man's gone teetotally drunk and disorderly, there's only one cure. <sighs> What's that? Old Horton's patented hangover blaster. She he doesn't swallow his own tongue. No. What's in it? Uh, let me see. A uh, tablespoon ketchup, mm, orange juice, half a tin of anchovies. Two raw eggs, chili pepper, uh, two teaspoons, a dough chicken stock if you got it, and a cough syrup, and a, about a cup of fine whiskey. Yes. Come on, son. Hey. You said chili pepper, right? Uh huh. Two teaspoons. I can sober him up, but how he lost his arm, I do not know. Now, he's overdone it for sure. With whiskey that fine. Who can blame? I haven't seen Fergus's arm here or anywhere, Captain. Ready for anything, sir. Bonjour, Chef. Any luck with your search? Nothing to contribute, I'm afraid.
looking for Fergus's arm, mister? Sorry to disappoint you, but I was kind of too busy getting wasted to pay attention. Orton's people seem I. I especially like that jazz man, Paris. Shit, I dig jazz. I have not seen his arm, and I would not want anything to do with it. Uh, when I speak to Fergus at party, both arms were attached to shoulders. I think... I like Horton and his people. Remind me of group of rebels I knew in Warsaw. Ça va bien? I hope you give the wing commander a stern talking to. He's not an honorable man. My friend. Hey, Paris Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See the loss over there? For Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here. Uh, romantic, right? No, oh, on occasion. Right. <laughs> Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and mm. I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then, I hunted the rose and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Oh, then I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play something to set the mood. <laughs> Ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. Ah! <laughs> what kind of woman do you think I am? <laughs> I have had enough of you, you stupid fucking arm. I will teach you some manners. So you saw him storm off toward the hangar? Mm-hmm. Don't think I've ever seen a man that angry. Thanks. Look for the arm in the hangar. That's where Fergus went. Check it out. You know that Nazi bunker in Manhattan? Pigs use it as the base of operations. Well, we intercepted a transmission detailing all of the combat equipment they got stashed up in there. 
Get this. On the list is a fully operational constrictor harness. You should check out the brief on the wall map, man. For real. How are you, Terribility, cousin? Huh? The traveling show throws some crazy fade old dough. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Last night's show take the cake. All right. Fergus was last seen heading for the hangar fuel depot. Maybe he left his arm there. No, signore. I see Fergus talk to Maria. She became very angry. I know nothing more. See, I speak with Fergus. He was very drunk, Capitan. But he still had his arm with him. Fergus's arm, uh, Fergus's arm. N nope, I can't just say that I've seen it. Makes no sense, Shoshan. I mean, what sense does it make to have a key without a lock, huh? serious issue on our hands, man. All right, Dick. I was doing inventory in the ammo depot when this gigantic asshole of a rat jumped straight at me like it got rabies or some shit. Biggest rat I ever seen in my life. Big as a dog. If I hadn't been so lucky that a box fell on top of it and trapped it, man, I, I'm not sure what would have happened. You gotta go to the ammo depot and kill it, man. Be careful not to get bit. I guarantee the motherfucker will give you tetanus or God knows what else.
Run and hide, little guy. Ain't your fault you're a rat. Damn, you got balls, baby. Thanks. Can sleep easy now knowing that fucking monster rat ain't coming to claw my eyes out. Scary shit, man. Fergus's arm, but when a pig goes missing, the first place I look is where the feed is. Boy, I tell you, it's gonna take some time getting used to underwater living. Glad you got a pig on board, though. You're happy now, pig. People keep calling knots pigs, but I think that's mighty unfair to pigs. Thanks. Ugh! This god awful book could crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. Max Hoss. I have one major pet peeve, Max, and it's bad metaphors in literature. Have a listen to this. George went to work on her rose bush like a gardener in springtime. Oh, I mean, excuse me, Mr. Highfalutin author, but I'm reading your erotic mystery novel to get turned on, not the exact opposite. Max Hoss. I'm just a bit upset, is all, Max. Max Hoss. A lady doesn't kiss and tell, darling. Max Hoss. But since I've never been much of a lady, I might as well just tell you. I had a bit of a romantic encounter with your friend Bombate last night. Yeah, and it seemed to me that we had a certain something going on. But the next thing I know, I am wrapped up in some sort of rivalrous triangle with that Nazi girl. I mean, how was I supposed to know he was spoken for? Exhaust? You're right, Max. He's nothing but a no-good womanizer. Bless his heart. And I should just... put him out of my mind. <laughs> she had nipples like two pink rosebuds, waiting to be watered by the gardener's hose. If I had a fork or something, I'd stick my eyes right out. <sighs> Max sauce. Did you want to show me something, darling? Max! Oh, my God. Max, you made this? Max us. You know, I studied art history at the university on account my daddy was an art dealer. And I used to love wandering around the gallery. I'd say what you've done here would sell for big bucks anywhere in the country, Max, and that's the God's honest truth. Max Hoss? Damn. Do you mind if I just... sit here and look at it for a while? Max Hoss. Just... Wow, Max.
Ever feel like everything is hopeless? Existence is just a broken record, repeating over and over for all of eternity? Shoot. That's a bleak outlook on life, miss. Maybe so. Wanna just call the whole resistance thing off and go drown ourselves in the moon pool? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty then. You just let me know. Sorry, buddy. I ain't seen Fergus's arm anywhere. Only thing could have made that birthday shindig any sweeter is more whiskey. As writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend, Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you're out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for Max, Mr. Blaskovich. Headache is killing me, Tuma. I tried to read, but the words all look like gibberish. I like reading too. Buddy told me once, Tuma, get your nose out of that goddamn book. Lord, oh Lord. My darling husband Jacques used to read all the time when he wasn't painting. Your husband a painter man? What'd he paint? Usually me. More or less clothed. Holy! I figure I'd do the same if I had a wife as handsome as yourself. If you don't mind me saying so, ma'am. He told me my body was a work of art created by the mighty lord himself. And he was merely his messenger trying to commit perfection to canvas. I told him he was full of crocodile shit. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? Jack died during the New Orleans riot in 51. Never found his bones. Oh. Sorry, ma'am. I know what it's like losing your loved one because of the Nazis. Well, it's history now. Tears dried. Life moved on. Lord, what other option do we have? Lay down and die? No, ma'am, not this American. I told myself I'd go down fighting for my country and my freedom. Even if most of my countrymen sat on their lazy asses as the Nazis marched into power. You're a good man, Tuma. Thank you, ma'am, for them kind some words. Hey, I got some intel for you, man. Now listen to this, B. We managed to intercept a transmission detailing all of the construction material they shipped over to planet Venus. Get this. On the list is a fully functional battle walker. They gotta be using it for painting ceilings or some shit. I mean, who the fuck knows? Anyway, you should check out the brief on the war map. Good luck out there, B. Any luck finding Fergus's arm? Ask around, see if anybody's seen it. I haven't seen Herr Fergus's arm, Herr Bleskovich. I've been up all night decrypting the Odin codes. Maybe you should ask the new Fräulein, Professor, whatever they call her. She seems to always be putting her nose into everyone's business. Can 
Amanda Fergus' arm. I know he had some kind of fight with Maria in Club Kreisau. Yes, that's all I know. Oh, boy. Fergus in his arm. Club Kreisau. Professor, uh, but uh, you know that. Fergus's arm. Man, didn't I hear Paris Jack mention something about him? Go talk to Paris. Someday, you have to tell me all about space. The adventures you've been on, man. Not seen the arm of Fergus, brother. I was too busy drinking. Woo! Haven't seen Fergus's arm guy. Just looking at the thing gives me the creeps. On. I heard he had some call with that beautiful French madame, Maria. So, you've been to another planet, but have you ever been to Sweden in the summer? Yeah, 
robot arm. See how the old man stacks up. Hello to you. Sometimes I think about how it is like back in Sweden. Will I ever get to see the Skärgård again? Captain? Hello, Captain.
Good day. Hey, hey. Good day. Hello to you. Hey, hey. 